Okay, here is another um, culture, uh, stool culture. And the last one that we looked at was just a normal routine stool. And this is kind of a tricky one. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. We have our four plates, our 5% sheep blood, our McConkie's, our Hectone and Terek, and then our McConkie's Sorbitol. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is our sheep blood plate. As always with sheep blood, we always need to hold it up to a light source and look for uh, hemolysis on it. Um, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, I know we can see a little bit of a haze here, but this culture is 48 hours old. Uh, so this maybe ten this kind of tends to happen. But I don't see any truly hemolytic colonies here. So I don't see anything. I mean, I don't see any kind of staph aureus. Uh, I don't see any yeast growing on here. So uh, there's nothing on the sheep blood plate that I'm concerned about. Okay, so this is our uh, McConkie's plate. And we can see diff some different culture or uh, colony types. I can see kind of this uh, pinkish colony over here. And I'm sure yesterday that that was a much pinker color. The thing that concerns me is, is I have these um, clearish colonies. So whenever we have clear colonies or lactose negative colonies, right? So lactose negative is the same as a lactose non-fermenter. We need to uh, be concerned about those and we need to do something with those. So based on what we see here on this plate, we're going to do something with those colonies. So what I'm thinking is possible Shigella species, right? So... Um, or possibly Salmonella. That's why I'm now going to take a look at the uh, Hectone and Terek, right? Um, so this is also going to give us information about lactose, the ability to use lactose, but the, the difference between this plate and the last plate is the ability to detect H2S production. <coughs> and that means black colonies. Okay, so in the last culture, we didn't really get a good uh, idea of what uh, lactose positive uh, organisms look like but this particular um, plate contains lactose and sucrose so the fact that these uh, colonies here are kind of this orangish or salmon color they, the organism could be lactose positive and or sucrose positive so mainly what I'm looking for is H2S production now what's kind of tricky about this is that I don't have, back here I can see that it's black. And if I look closely, I can see some black colonies in here. But I don't, I don't know why we didn't get any growing out here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use, um, you know, in microbiology, we have two tools that we use to manipulate bacteria. We have a loop and we have a needle. So a needle is just the wire that is just cut off at the end and it has a very small tip. So I'm going to have to subculture this organ, this uh, black colony. So I'm just going to very carefully try to find one as isolated as I can. Just barely touch it and then subculture it to another plate so I can get a better idea of what it is. Because this, if this is truly an H2S positive um, colony, we may be dealing with salmonella. Okay, now another wrinkle or another kind of strange thing about this particular culture is that we have no growth on the McConkie sorbitol plate. So I'm probably going to have to go, that's kind of unusual, so I'm probably going to have to go back and subculture, or sub, I'm going to have to go back and uh, set up the McConkie sorbitol plate from the original specimen just to see if I can get some kind of growth on here to see if we can pick up uh, sorbitol negative colonies for E. coli 0157H7. All right, so at this point, I, I really don't feel um, comfortable sending out any kind of preliminary report on this. I mean, I believe that there is, you know, many normal stool flora, but at this point, I don't really feel confident saying about what's going on on these two plates. On the McConkies, we have these clear colonies, which are lactose negative, which could possibly be Shigella or Salmonella. And then we possibly have these H2S positive ones, which we tend to think of, we associate more with, uh, with uh, Salmonella. But I don't really have any really good concrete information at this time. So I think a preliminary report is going to be held until after I can get 
uh, this thing subcultured. Now, depending on the type of laboratory and and the type of instrument instrumentation that's available, uh, these col clear colonies may be worked up now, uh, or there may be some kind of looking at whether these and these are the same uh, organisms. So. Really, it's hard for me to say at this point how your lab would proceed with with uh, working this up, but um, yeah, for sure this guy is going to get subcultured these H2S positive colonies. Um, so at this point, no preliminary report, and we're just going to go ahead and continue or proceed with uh, what I said before about working uh, or subculturing these organisms out.